Hello, this is Charles with those UPCs. Uh, today we're going to talk about some duckweed or lesser minor. Minor. Um, this is what we got going on today. This is some duckweed. It grows on the top. It's a floating plant. As you can see, it co it provides uh, cover for your fish and does all sorts of good stuff. Um, just going to talk about some of the benefits and all that great stuff. Um, First off, algae control, it uh, eats quite a few of the nutrients and absorbs the extra lighting that would normally cause some algae, like your green hair and stuff like that. Um, as you can tell, the sides are like crystal clear in this tank. The, the color of the water is pretty bad because that uh, driftwood right there is actually brand new. Um, also, it provides uh, some other benefits such as it provides cover from lighting from, for your fish. Um, also allows a uh, natural hiding habitat and also is a natural food source for some plants um, that gets pretty cool um, and it, by the way it just blows up which is also one of the cons about it um, it's very evasive hard to remove at times and does not really work with any filters that overhang as it will go it will be disturbed being pushed down into the filters. Um, if you are going to roll with some duckweed, I suggest either a canister filter that goes below the water line or just a pre-filter of some sort, like a sponge filter. That works pretty well with them. Um, and besides that, I mean, I overall recommend it. Like I said, it's great for algae control, has many benefits to the fish, and however, it can be a pest. But I overall recommend it. Um, so that's it on duckweed this week. Um, also this week we have Baby Tears um, HM going on sale for a dollar. Get it at Ozark PCs or OZPCs.com. And that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you guys. You have a good one.